Pietro is gonna try to jump. So this is the last time we might see him. Yeah. Be careful! Oh, I'm gonna go surfing with Mattia. Up and roll. Uh, the waves were just too big, so we went in for like 30 minutes. I spilled the beer inside the fries. Portugal has such an amazing light, it's insane. So guys, I just arrived to Portugal, uh, I'm in Faro, I was flying from Geneva and to be honest, there was no COVID test at all or COVID test, no COVID check. I didn't have to show my uh, my vaccination, vaccination QR code, I didn't have to prove anything, so it's a bit weird, you know, I was expecting at least once that you need to show it when they push it so hard on you. But whatever, I'm here, uh, now I'm waiting for the guys to pick me up and I'm gonna go head to the surf camp. Hey guys, so I arrived to Portugal. I'm gonna be in Lagos for next week uh, doing my first filmmaking workshop for someone. So that's exciting and it's amazing. The weather is beautiful. I came from Switzerland where it was around zero degrees, so pretty cold. And here it's a little bit chilly in the morning, but during the day it should get up to around 17, 18 degrees Celsius. So I'm really looking forward for that. I'm gonna do some surfing, I'm gonna do some photography, and obviously the filmmaking workshop. Now I'm just walking through the city. You can see these beautiful streets, uh, which are very, very specific for Portugal. And I'm gonna go get a breakfast and a coffee. Apparently there's a really good coffee place called Coffee and Waves. So I'm gonna test it out, see what they got, and then start a workshop in the afternoon. So if you wanna see how Algarve and Lagos looks like and what is it like to be here, then definitely keep watching. I started with a workshop, but unfortunately I didn't have too much time to film. Uh, I'm gonna try to improve on that tomorrow. But as I said, we started a workshop, we went through technical stuff, camera settings, frame rates, resolutions, aperture, ISO, and so on. And then we moved into composition, so basics of composition, how to create depth in the image, uh, leading lines. And then from there we went to shot types, shot sizes, angles, camera movement and stabilization. Tomorrow we're gonna start early in the morning and we're gonna start with uh, creating a scene. So basically the student will learn how to create a scene that is effective and that tells a story in three or four shots. Uh, after that I'm gonna go surf, so probably gonna take a GoPro with me. I'm gonna show you a little bit how the west coast of Portugal looks like. And now it's around 9 p.m. Uh, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna edit the film that I'm working on from Egypt. But before that, I do have a bathtub right behind me. And for most of you it's probably a normal thing, but in Switzerland we don't have a bathtub in our house. So tonight I'm gonna have a bath because it's been probably... Well, I'm not gonna even say how long has it been since I didn't have a bath, but I'm really gonna enjoy it. Good morning guys, so this Monday I started today with the workshop, we talked about um, about storytelling and about creating a scene and now I'm gonna go surfing with Matteo. Rock and roll! <laughs> and apparently the waves are not too big today but I haven't surfed in eight months so just gonna go and take a foamy and have some fun. <laughs> So we have arrived to the surf location, uh, the name of the beach, you can see it somewhere down here and you can see the beach behind me, it's really big, really nice. The waves are really small today, so good for beginners and it's a little bit choppy, it's actually choppy means that it's windy um, and I don't know if you can hear me because there's a, there's a lot of wind here.
So guys, I just finished the second surf session. We are here on the beach. It's a really nice village. Maybe you can see it over there. It's on the cliff and there's like these little colorful houses uh, which are everywhere around the coast here. And I have my two students here. <laughs> we were practicing some filmmaking and some photography settings. And now I'm actually vlogging on GoPro because my Sony, the microphone jack broke. I heard that the, with the Sony a7 III's it happens quite often. So we'll see if I can fix it or if I actually like the GoPro because it's really small, you can take it anywhere, it's waterproof. So we'll see how this is gonna look. And yeah, now we're gonna head back to the camp and continue with the workshop. Good morning guys, so today is the day three, I'm here in Portugal uh, doing a filmmaking workshop for a friend of a friend and in the first two days we were talking about technical stuff, a bit of theory, you know, framing, uh, composition, types of shots, camera movements and so on and today we will finally start shooting and we're gonna be making a little lifestyle surf video and also I'm gonna show you uh, where I'm staying and maybe a little bit of surfing. So let's start a day. You can see behind me, uh, there's a pool, there's houses over there, and there's like a chill out zone. Now it's the end of the season, which basically means that there's like 10 people maybe, 10 people, all of them are staff, and this is the last week, everyone's leaving on Saturday. So there's not too much going on, but I actually enjoy it. However, if you would like to come surfing during the summer, then it gets really busy. You know, there could be up to 40, 50 people. So it's a really nice crowd. There's a lot of fun, a lot of activities, kiting, windsurfing, surfing, wakeboarding, stand-up paddle. Um, I think that's it, maybe some more, but there's definitely a lot to do. So this is where I'm staying. Let me show you the room. As you can see, it's actually pretty big. It's a bungalow and there's a bed behind me, a window, and then right over there is a little kitchen, a work table where I'm doing some editing. And here's a little, little bathroom, which has these traditional ceramic uh, plates on the walls and yeah, that's basically where I'm staying. Super cozy. Uh, there's also a little heater because uh, now is the end of the season and in the night it can get pretty chilly. So it's around 12.30 I think and we are getting ready to go surfing. Apparently it's pumping today and it's gonna be big which I'm definitely not ready for and my friend Posho back there is also not ready for that because we're beginners but we're gonna go give it a try uh, and so here we're taking this board then a big board and then these two boards are of one of the instructors well obviously he's surfing short boards so he's much better than us and then just before we're gonna be loading the car me and Mercy are gonna be filming uh, the whole thing because as I said we're gonna be making a little lifestyle surf video and I'll be teaching her how to basically put together the scenes how to move the camera what shots to get and so on and so forth Amado on the beach and we're gonna go surfing it's pumping uh, it's really clean but it's really big too or at least big for me and Mercy is over there she's gonna be taking some photos and doing some videos uh, and I'm gonna be teaching her a little bit before I get into the water but just look at this it looks so beautiful <laughs> Yeah. So we have just 
just finished uh, surfing and Merci there is finishing the shooting. Uh, the waves were just too big so we went in for like 30 minutes and we got uh, we got smashed, we were fighting the waves, we couldn't even pedal out. But we're gonna try again tomorrow. We're gonna go to a beach that should be smaller. And we just had the most amazing sunset. But uh, yeah, now we're gonna go back to the surf camp, have a dinner and then we'll continue tomorrow. Last day in Portugal and me and Osho are heading to Sagres, which is a small little village on the coast. It's like the, the tip of Portugal uh, and we're gonna just walk around and have a nice uh, man's date together. <laughs> so we have just arrived uh, to this little coffee shop. It's called Three Little Birds and it's this kind of Australian new wave, you know, brunch slash coffee place um, and it looks really nice very minimalistic inside is very cozy outside we are in the terrace and there's sun shining straight into my face as you can see but um, it's really nice and then we ordered some burgers so hopefully the food is gonna be as good as the place is I spilled the beer inside the fries so we're waiting for another fries and now we're gonna try how the food actually is so far it looks really good so guys, we just finished our food. We are walking through Zagres, having a coffee, and we're going to the lighthouse. Uh, it's really windy. I mean, Portugal in general is really windy. Uh, but at this time of the year, the wind is quite cold. Uh, as long as the sun is outside, it's okay. But once you get into the shade, then you get cold. And yeah, we're just gonna enjoy ourselves. Uh, check the lighthouse, wait for the sunset and then head back to Lagos and have dinner with some friends. So we are now on the edge here. We tried to go to a fortress that is right behind me, you see the wall? But unfortunately you cannot enter without a mask, which is nonsense because the thing is literally open. You can see over there there's the fortress and we just tried to find a way around but unfortunately there's a gap. I'm not gonna jump but Porsche is gonna try to jump. So this is the last time we might see him. Uh, wish him luck. Stay tuned for the next episode. We're trying slowly, slowly moving. There's like 20 meters drops <laughs> right under and yeah. Push us almost there. Yeah. Be careful! <laughs> okay, it was a joke. Obviously, we didn't try. <laughs> we're not crazy. We are over 30 already and we are not willing to risk our life for a shot. Uh, so we're just gonna go back and wait for the sunset. So we are here next to the fortress uh, waiting for the sunset. But it already looks really, really nice. You can see there's Porsche behind me, the fortress and the sunset. So cool. Portugal has such an amazing light. It's insane. Hey guys, so I'm back in Switzerland and this was basically my week in Portugal where I was doing a filmmaking workshop. As you can see, the vlog wasn't perfect, but you have to start somewhere, right? And if you liked it, I'll be very happy if you can give a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Oh.